Welcome back to Not Airborne Productions. That's right. We're changing it up on you. More on that later. I finally got my degree. That's right. I finally graduated. I've been going to Cal State Fullerton the past few years down in Southern California in pursuit of my Bachelor's of Science in Mechanical Engineering. And that's right. This past weekend, I walked across the stage with that paper. And that degree is pretty important, the Mechanical Engineering part of it because it ends up tying together my initial passions in life and still my biggest passion uh, with everything that I've done up to this point in education, uh, somewhat on this channel and, and where we're gonna go from here. So when I was a little kid, uh, four years old, my crazy dad threw me in the seat of a little go-kart and let me drive around the neighborhood. And uh, that was really cool. It led me to this amazing passion of mine called racing or motorsports or whatever you want to call it. That led me to competitive racing from the age of five all the way until about 15 years old. I raced go-karts all the way up and down uh, California, even traveled out of state to do some racing. And when I uh, turned 15, I went and got my SCCA and NASA amateur racing licenses and started racing spec Miata for a little while. But we still drive that car here and there. But yeah, altogether, racing has always been and probably always will be my number one passion. The cool thing about mechanical engineering is it's everywhere, not just in the world, but in racing, in motorsports. And at my college, Cal State Fullerton, I was a part of the Formula SAE team where we engineered and designed a race car from scratch. And in a typical year, we would have manufactured and then raced this race car. Unfortunately, uh, COVID kept us off campus. So we weren't really able to make it, but that's all right. It was an amazing design experience and taught me a lot about engineering, uh, motorsports, and really what I want to do with my life. And with the completion of my degree, I have now moved permanently from Southern California back up to beautiful Northern California, where I was born and raised. You might recognize this as my dad's home forge. This is where we've done a lot of our blacksmithing projects and we'll continue to do a lot of projects, um, but they won't all be the ones that you've seen in the past. So of course, we're gonna keep up with the uh, very archaic art of heating up metal and beating the crap out of it, but we're going to move on to a lot more advanced things, uh, such as, I don't know, some detailed engineering analysis on race car stuff or abusing our engineering privileges by engineering stuff that really shouldn't be engineered. But in all seriousness, we do have quite a few cool projects coming up. Uh, we got a Cummins truck that we're gonna turn into a four wheel drive. We got a whole bunch of content coming up on the wrap bike. We have a new forge. We have a new shop. We have a CNC mill. We have a 1950s Logan lathe and a 1950s Bridgeport mill. We have race cars. We have race car builds. We got engineering. We got race car engineering and maybe some tracking. We have some blacksmithing, some tool making, some equipment making such as a rolling mill, a bench top press, a treadle hammer. I'm sure we'll come up with more projects along the way, but that's a pretty good list to start with. But lastly, I'd like to talk about why we are no longer called Airborne Productions and what we will be called moving forward. So I came up with that name back when I started this channel in high school. I thought it was cool because we were riding motocross a lot and doing a lot of things that involved jumping in the air. So it fit. In moving forward, I realized that I have a tough time picking a lane, like a narrow focus of I need to do blacksmithing or I need to do welding or whatever the case. I just want this to be where I post my fun projects and adventures. And a lot of those are going to be revolved around my ultimate passion, which is racing. Back to being a kid racing go-karts, my dad came up with the name Formula Jake. My ultimate goal was to be a Formula One driver. So Formula and then my name, Jake, Formula Jake, you get it, formulajake.com used to be the website that we had uh, for racing stuff. Anyways, I wanted to keep that name going. So instead of Airborne Productions, we are now called Formula Jake. You're still going to see the same type of content. A lot of our old projects, such as the Rat Bike, will be continued on and hopefully finished in the near future. Uh, but the ultimate goal is to do my number one passion life, 
Motorsports and to be able to showcase that on the channel and bring you guys with us. So thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. Thank you for being a loyal follower of what we do. We're very, very excited to continue to make more content and really open up a new era of not Airborne Productions, but Formula Jake. So thanks again for coming along and uh, we'll see you next time.